What's up, everybody? Back with some more NBA Best Bets. Got four picks for you guys today. Hopefully, we can get us a sweep. Came so close to the sweep yesterday, man. We went 3-1. and one. The only play that missed was Kaminga. We had his goblin play over 17.5 points. I thought that one was going to be a for sure win. That was the one I was most confident in. And uh, he ended up selling us. He only had 14 points at the end. They did take two points from him for some reason. So he would have had 16 at one point. But anyway, he still would have missed. So 3-1, uh, and one, not a bad day. We're on an 18-3 and three run right now. We have had... I think three sweeps in the last six days, something like that. Maybe two sweeps and three three and one days. I ain't, I'm not exactly sure how it went, but we are on an 18 and three run, absolutely smashing it. If you guys want to join VIP, I'm telling you now is the time. We cast almost, I think we cast every single sleeper slip yesterday, and we posted like four of them. So we are killing it right now. If you want to get all of our plays, head on over to, on over to our Patreon. Links down in the description. It's 25 bucks a month. You get all of our plays, all of our mod plays. I'm telling you guys, you want to be a part of it. Even the chat itself is just, it's just, it's a great community, man. And I want to say thank you to everybody that's already in there. But um, yeah, if you guys want to join, you can get a free month. If you sign up for one of our partnered apps, Underdog, Sleeper, Parlay Play, Chalkboard, or Thunderpick, pick any of those, get you a uh, free month of VIP. But uh, you do have to make the minimum deposit. Just send me a message on Discord. We are going to do a giveaway from yesterday's video. So we got 350 or so likes, over uh, 100 comments. So <clears throat> anyways, thank you to all y'all for your support. I'm going to actually pick two of you from this video. I said I want to do two unless we got 400 likes. But I'm going to give two of you a month of VIP if... You guys want a chance at winning a month of VIP, drop a comment on this video, drop a like, and hit the sub button. If we get at least 200 likes, 50 comments, I pick one of you to win a month of VIP. And if we hit 500 comments, 500, not 500 comments, 500 likes on this video, I will pick three people for tomorrow's video. So I'm, I'm not gonna do more than three per video, but three at 500 likes, I think we can do it, man. So 500 likes on this video, drop your like, drop your comment for your chance to win. Let's go ahead and pick our first winner from yesterday's video. It is for... Tina Schroeder, she said, yes, sir, and uh, that is great, man. I really do appreciate your comment. Send me a message on Discord. I will get you your free month of VIP, and uh, congrats to you, Tina Schroeder, 1914. But uh, let's go ahead and pick our second winner of the day. Start. This one is for Steven. <laughs> I'm not going to. I don't know how to say that. I'm not going to try. So he said, good luck to all. Man, send me a message on Discord. I do appreciate you, and uh yeah, congrats on your month of VIP. Like I said, message me on Discord and we'll get you your free month. So if you guys want to know what websites I use in the video, the first one is called DGF, DG Fantasy. This is my favorite website when it comes to research help. It is an optimizer. It takes all of our plays from our apps like Prize Picks, Underdog, Parlay Play, any of them up here you can see, compares the lines directly back to sports books, gives you a percent odds to hit and a positive EV value on some of them depending on what website or what app you're looking at. But anyways, guys, it makes research so easy. You can line shop so easily. It gives you that percent to hit. I'm telling you, if you guys don't have DGF and you're taking this stuff seriously, I highly recommend you guys get it. And uh, it's definitely worth the investment, in my opinion. I've hit pretty dang accurately on the ones that I do use from here. And even if you don't use the plays, like I don't come up here and just pick any of these plays from the top. But you find a play you like, you can research it, figure out. It just gives you ideas. That's what I'm going to say. It gives you ideas for plays. And uh, it does help a lot. So if you guys want a 25% discount on DGF, use our link down in the description. It is code ACES. The other one we use is called outlier.bet. This is the one we use to show all the charts, show all the stats from the defense. Really, really helps for matchups. So, for matchups and uh, if you guys want a free week of this you can use our link down in the description as well but let's go and jump into our free picks we're going to get our goblin play over with first so first play of the day is going to be for our man Mikael Bridges taking him over two and a half rebounds that's a goblin play and uh, I actually really like this play man so we're going to pull him up over here Bridges uh, we're going to pull up boards right here over four and a half is an original line, which they don't expect him to get five. But if you go over two and a half, he's cashed this eight of his last 10 games. He's cashed this 85% of his last 20, 17 of his last 20. And he's cashed it 85% on the season, 44 of 52 games. Dude smashes this line. He has a lot of threes, so he has a lot of them where he's barely going over. But they're playing against uh, Boston tonight, so the Celtics give up a lot of rebounds. Give up 20th in the league in boards. If you go over to small forward position, they give up 25th in the league even more. Power forward's 21. So they give up a lot of boards in general. I think Bridges can get at least three. Last matchup versus Boston in November, he had five boards. The one before that in uh, November, he had six. So last two games, the only two this year, he has cash. The one before that in last season, he had 10. 
end. So Duke can definitely get the rebounds. I think he's getting at least three fourths tonight, locking in our boy Bridges over two and a half rebounds. We can't get it on uh, underdog, underdog at that line, obviously, but really do like this play. Jumping into pick number two of the day. This is going to be an under. I don't like taking unders when the props this small, I will say. So this one's a little risky. It's probably my least favorite of the four plays, but um, I'm going to take, take Caleb Martin under points. And I want to go ahead and throw this disclaimer out there. Just because this is my least favorite of the four plays does not mean that this one might, might be the only one that hits. We could go one in three and this be the only one that hits. So take that with a grain of salt. But we're taking him under 13.5 points. He's hit this in 50 or 54% chance for this to hit according to Outlier. Minus 128 on a FanDuel. Minus 140 on DraftKings. Pull this up. He's been under this in eight of his last 10 games. He's been under this in 90% of his last 20. 18 of 20 games. He had two games he went over where he barely went over. He went over by a bucket. But anyways, they are playing against the, against the Bucks tonight. Bucks give up 23rd in the league in points. So they give up a lot of points. Small forward position, they give up 14th. So not quite as many. And then powerful forward position, they give up 5th. So they don't give up barely any of that position. But anyways, Kayla Martin, he's been struggling recently. <clears throat> he's getting around 25 minutes-ish a game. He had 35 his last game versus Boston. But, um... I think that game was a little bit closer. It was closer than I expected, honestly. But anyways, I like to play a lot, man, for Caleb Martin. I'm going to lock him up in under the 13.5 points. So Martin, 13.5 points, taking the under. This will be pick number two, and it's going to refresh and make me re-log in. So we're going to close out underdog. I don't know what they did to underdog to update it, but that is actually really aggravating. So I'm not going to be pulling up on underdog because I'm not re-signing in. No offense. Sorry for the people who like to see the underdog. But Caleb Martin, pick number two. Jumping into pick number three, a player that I don't really play very often. We're taking our man Drew Holiday. And we're taking him over points, rebounds, and assists. We got him at 22.5. So showing 23 and a half right here. I hope he didn't get bumped. Minus 108 to go over 23 and a half. But we're going to do the alt line. Huh. So they don't have 22 and a half. We're going to do 21 and a half. He would have chalked here, but he cashed it six of his last 10 games. He's uh, smashed this line in his last two. You see 32 and 24. Um, uh, one of those games was against Miami. It was a touch ma tough matchup for him. And uh, in his last two matchup versus the Nets, he has cashed this both this season, both back in uh, November. 37 and 34 PRA in those games. He smashed it. Porzingis might miss this one. Uh, he has a, has a lower back injury. And uh, I'm thinking he might sit this one out. If he sits out, this play is going to be way better. But um, looking at... Uh, Brooklyn's defense, they give up 16th in the league in points, 25th in rebounds, 7th in assists. So lots of rebounds, middle of the pack in points, 7th in assists. Go to point guard position, they give up 25th in points, 16th rebounds, 6 assists. So they give up a, a little bit better number. I prefer the points to be higher because points is where he's going to get a lot of his uh, a lot of his stats from. And if you go to shooting guard, it's kind of the same, 14, 26, and 12. So one's green, a couple of them are yellow. But anyways, I like Drew Holiday over 22.5. You can get this one on sleeper right now at 22.5. I did check that just a minute ago i'm not sure about prize picks so it is 23 and a half on prize picks uh, i like it at 22 and a half obviously better i would probably fade it on prize picks at 23 and a half unless something happens that porzingis is ruled out and you know he's not playing but uh, i like 22 and a half on sleeper definitely would lock it in there uh, i think he'll cash the 24 as well but I'm not going to lock in 24 as a free pick. So I'm going to tell you right now, if it's 23 and a half, I wouldn't just, I wouldn't take it until you kind of figure out what's going on with Porzingis. But 22 and a half, I still like it a lot. And uh, going to be locking in a man, Drew Holiday, over 22.5 points, rebounds, and assists. And then jumping into our fourth and final play of the day, taking our man Fox, running it back with him. He sells me a lot, but he cashes for me a lot too. So he's one of those... Uh, Kind of coin flip for me sometimes just based off of luck. But taking him over four and a half assists. So they got him at 58% chance to hit. Minus 140 FanDuel. Minus 140 DraftKings. Minus 150 on Caesar. So good value here. He's cashed this in three straight games. Only five of his last ten. But um, he's had five, seven, and ten assists in his last three. He's looked like he's distributing the ball a little bit more if you've been watching him. He averages 5.4 assists on the season as well. And uh, he's also hit this in his, last, his only three matchups versus Phoenix this season, having seven, seven, and six. So he's been smashing it versus Phoenix. I like the matchup a lot for him. Looking at Phoenix, they give up 13th in the league in assists. Go to point guard, they give up 17th. So give up a decent amount for him. Not a whole lot for that position, but um, I do like Fox over four and a half. I think he's going to cash this for us. And I got to lock him in. So Fox. Assists. So they don't have assists right now on prize picks. I would um, I would give it some time. I think it'll probably come up at five. 
But uh, four and a half and five, I do like still. Five just adds push potential. I will show you the slip we locked in. Just so you can see, we locked in Holiday at 22.5 PRA on Sleeper. And then we got Fox at four and a half assists on Sleeper. So they said it, on, it is on Sleeper. We just locked this one in literally 15 minutes ago. So it shouldn't be bumped. Should still be on there. Um, I like this slip a lot. I ain't going to say play the exact same slip as me. You can mix and match how you want because we could end up splitting slips if Fox misses or if Holiday misses. But anyways, that is how we play it. I just wanted to prove to you guys that I ain't making up prop numbers because it that is what they were at just a minute ago so anyways guys those are our four plays we've got Mikel Bridges over two and a half rebounds we got Caleb Martin under 13 and a half points we got Drew Holiday over 22.5 PRA and then we have uh Fox over four and a half assists so those are our four picks make sure you guys drop a comment drop a like and hit the subscribe button for your chance at a free month of VIP in tomorrow's video head on over to our Patreon to get all of our picks and plays highly suggest you guys join that and then uh, join our discord server at the very least it's absolutely free all this all the links are in our description but hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video